Welcome to our home. So here's our Airstream International Signature. It's uh, 28 feet long. We purchased it actually as a family of two. Before we moved in, we found out we were gonna be a family of three. Now we're a family of four. And fortunately, it's managed to stay big enough for us to kind of survive even with two little kids in here. We became full-time RVers from just a spontaneous conversation. Since Jerry can work remotely, we kind of had the travel bug. We settled on moving into an RV because we felt like it was the right way for us to explore the United States, which we really hadn't done a lot of. So some features on the outside of the Airstream, we kind of got the classic aluminum look. Here we've got an automatic sunshade that'll come out, close, provide some additional shade on hot days like this. On top, one of the key things that we did is we added 600 watts of solar panels up there. We found that as we were camping, we, we like to be off grid a lot and have that flexibility to go where we wanted to go. Okay, so here we are in our kitchen, dining, and living area. On the couch area, there actually used to be storage back here um, that I took out so that we could then extend the bed back. It was only maybe like 12 inches, but because we've got the two kids now, Jamie and I actually use this as our bed. Getting that additional 12 inches in the back really made a difference for our comfort level with a lot of room for us to be able to kind of get all four of us up here comfortably. Over here is actually my closet area and a little bit of Sebastian's closet area. So we've got sleepers, wipes, and diapers. And then these two baskets are actually all of my clothes. Um, and that's one of the big adjustments you kind of have to make when you're moving from any kind of normal kind of living situation into a very small living space. The table setup that we had before was bench seating and it turned into a bed, which was really cool if you wanted to have guests over and sleep in a bed, but we decided a kitchen table would be a lot better. Now we can have meals with all four of us at the table comfortably. And you know, we tend to park the Airstream in cool places a lot of times. And so being able to kind of look out on a lake or a mountain or the forest, wherever we might be staying, really nice ambiance when you're having dinner. Over here, um, we've got our state tracker. Each one of these bottle caps is actually a state that we've been to, and it's a beer cap from a craft brewery in that state. Um, I think we're at 32 or 33 different bottle caps in there right now. Over here, we've got our kitchen area. We've got a fridge, freezer, good amount of size, three burner stovetop, and then a, a microwave slash convection oven. So we can actually still kind of do baking as we need to. We've got a pantry area up here, not a ton of room. So that means maybe a few extra trips to the grocery store during the week. As we move back to the back room here, this was actually a queen size bed. When we had Juliet, we quickly realized we needed the play area, but we also needed separate sleeping areas reducing the size of the bed to kind of this day bed size. Now gives us a pretty big play area for Juliet to come back here. She can play with her toys. She's got her crib here that she can sleep in and she's got the bed area for when she's big enough, but also it's a great seating area. Uh, so the other big change we did back here, the hanging up this peel and stick wallpaper. Um, Jamie spent a few days putting this up and she really just wanted to kind of make it feel like a kid's room. What will happen a lot during the day is I'll be working out there at the table. Jamie will grab Sebastian, come back here. They'll sit down, Juliet will play around on the floor and they can kind of be a little bit separated from me while I'm out there working. Thanks for visiting our home.